welcome back everyone today we learn to solve a transportation problem for the purpose let us say we make a table of maybe three sources and maybe four markets okay here we go here is a table of three sources and four markets let my markets be a b sorry let my sources be a b c let my markets be first second third and fourth suppose uh, my market a sorry my source or factory a has a capacity to produce 20 units b has a capacity to produce 20 units and c has a capacity to produce maybe 30 units and as far as markets are concerned let's say they have a demand of 14 50 21 then maybe a 20 so this is the basic structure these are the loads 20 20 and 30 for a b and c then these are 14 15 21 24 for second third and fourth then what do we have inside these cells inside these cells we have unit transportation cost transportation costs when we transport one unit let's say they are 9 8 3 2 then we have a 3 4 2 1 3 4 2 1 and there is a 5 1 3 9 if you remember our last video then we can very well tell what does this 3 or what does this 9 stand for this 9 is telling me that if I transfer one unit from factory C to market 4 it will cost me 9 rupees this is what my transportation matrix tells these are the loads these are unit costs and today we learn our very first method which is the LCM it is least cost method so what is the approach in this least cost method this method or for that matter any method of transportation it tells me the best cell for the moment what is the best cell at the moment least cost method suggests that the cell with least cost is the best cell can we see least cost 9, 8, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2? Yes, this is a least cost cell. Then this is another least cost cell. These two cells are such that they can transport your units for minimum expenditure of 1 rupee per unit. So these two cells are the best cells. Now the problem is there are two cells. Which one do I select? Suppose I go ahead and select this cell, that is C second. If I select the C second, how much I, am I producing at C? I am producing 30. How much does the second source uh, destination need? It needs 15. So I am producing 30, it needs 15. How much will they deal upon? How much will they transact? They will transact for 15 units. Because C is producing 30, though it may be producing 30, but second only needs 15 units. So they will deal for only 15 units. Got the idea? Didn't get it? No issues. Let us discuss once again this thing for the next one. The other cell with a cost of 1 rupee per unit. Let us discuss it for this one. Suppose if I select this cell B, 
B is producing 20 units and 4 needs 20 units. So if I'm producing 20 units, 4 needs 20 units, how many units will we transact for? Definitely will transact for 20 units. I will sell, sell all these 20 units to 4. Now, if I had taken this combination, though I was producing 30, but second needed only 15. So if I had selected this, I would have been able to transport only 15 units. While if I select this, I will be able to transport 20 units. So which is the better cell? Which is the cell with more saving potential? It is definitely this particular cell. So here comes our first assignment. And where do we make that assignment? In the very first cell. This one. 20. Now, as we can see, B was producing 20 units. It has distributed its 20 units. Fourth needed 20 units. It has its 20 units. So we can probably remove these two from our further calculation. We we'll use some other color. We can remove this source and we can remove this destination from our further calculation. Because now I do not need to supply anything from B. Nor do I need anything at 4. So I will remove these two. So what is the scenario like now? I am left with source A with only these three markets remaining and source C with only these three markets remaining. Now, from these remaining cells that are uncut, what is the best cell? Again, that one is still waiting, that one is still the best cell and because it is the least cost cell, I will make an assignment. I will go ahead and put 15 units over here. Why 15 units? Because C can make 30 but second only needs 15. So yes, now first thing, let me update. We do not need 30 units anymore, rather we need to supply only 15 units. What about second? It needed 15 units. It has its 15 units. So from here on, our market 2 is also out of contention. Now it will not ask for any units. So we are left with a very small area that is unfulfilled, uncut, only these. We need to take care of them. Who is the least cost from these? Yes, there are two cells with 3 rupee per unit costs. So which one should we pick? You could pick either. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Even if you pick a wrong cell, it will be rectified in the second phase of optimization. So let us say we go with this one, 3. And I go ahead and assign 20. What happens as I assign this 20? A was producing 20. It has supplied 20. So fine, I can remove A. And what about market 3? Market 3 initially needed 21, but 20 have already been allotted. So now it only needs one more unit. Now if we have a look at our transportation problem, only this 5 and 3 are left. Of these, which is the least cost? Obviously, it is 3. So, I will go ahead and make an assignment in this 3 rupees cell. So, C still has to supply 15. Third still needs 1. They will deal for this loan unit. I can remove this. So, Source 3 is done, sorry, market 3 is done, and I'm left with 15, one more gone. So I'm left with 14 units. Only one cell is left now, so no place else to go. And if you look at this cell, C producing 14 first, needing 14. So no worries, we can just go ahead and assign these 14 units. Now these 14 have been assigned, these 14 have been supplied. Your transportation ass assignment is 
complete. We have done all assignments. Now, what is the result of this assignment? How do I know if this was good or not? For the purpose, let me calculate total cost at this point of time. Then I will calculate total cost at different stages after optimization. For now, let me calculate total cost at this particular point of time. How much is the total cost? See, I transported 20 units at 3 rupees per unit. So, it cost me how much? 20 multiplied by 3. Then I transported 20 units at cost of rupee 1 per unit. So, it cost me 20 multiplied by 1. Then I transported 14 units at unit cost of 5 rupees. So, it will be 14 at 5. Then we transported 15 units at unit cost of 1. And lastly, we transported 3 units at unit cost of 1. So, this gives me total cost of my assignment at this particular point of time, which totally sums up at 60 plus 20 plus 70 plus 15 plus 3, giving me a total of 168. This is total cost after first phase of assignment using least cost method. Next time when we meet, we will learn another method, another technique. Till then, bye-bye and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.